What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. And uh, look, we opened Dragon Span, Gold Span Dragon again. Uh, so that's that's a thing. Kind of like Snapcaster here. Uh, I feel like Snapcaster's probably... I'm definitely not taking a Thran Dynamo again. Oh no, I was sniping the tra <laughs> Dang it, Kerwit. <laughs> it could be Goldspan Dragon. I did want to take this last time. I, God, I really love Snapcaster, though. I don't think this pack is that bad. I think this is a pretty decent... I don't think it's overpowered, but it's definitely got a lot of playables in it. Oh, followed up on an Urza, huh? Displacer Kitten, really? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, we're going to take Fractured Identity over the Urza. I'd rather be... A, so, I'd rather be a Fractured Identity deck than an Urza deck. Like, that's more fun to me. So, I'm going to take that. Plus, we got a Snapcaster, so... My God, man. Like, I just can't... I, can't, I just can't even... Like, if you guys didn't watch the previous Vintage Cube... Oh, God. Definitely check that out. It was an honor playing against you. <laughs> it was an honor slow rolling against you. Yeah, all right, man. You got it. Um, I like Elspeth, Sun's Champion, a lot. I'm going to take Miscalc and hope the Sun's Champion comes back. Is Sol Ring still in the cube? Fuck yeah, it is. They ain't going to take Sol Ring out of the cube. What are you, crazy? Oh. Sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> okay, there's never going to be a time where the saying eat my shit in a hair is not funny to me. Holy smokes, man. That is a, that is a saying right there. I think we're just taking reprieve. I think that's a great addition to this deck. Oh, look at the old, old fat hee-haw mouth. Should we take Mightstone in, in hopes of getting Urza Lord Protector? I feel like we should. Oh, good old. We could have taken Savannah for Rob, yeah. I like Charter Course a lot. I'm going to take this because I have high hopes. Fucking dying to eat my shit in hair. What a fuck what a saying, man. Who came up with that? Who was the first person to say that? And then they're like, you know what? That's good. I want to proliferate that. I do like March of Otherworldly Light. Always be melding. ABM. If you ain't melding, you ain't living. It's like, it's funny because like hair and shit are just not on the same level, right? Like people like touching hair. They like running their fingers through hair. They like getting, you know, head rubs. Like, but shit is like just the wor absolute worst, most foul thing you can think of. So it's really funny that these two things are the things you want someone to eat. Like they're not equal by any means. Enlightened Tutor. Adonto Vanguard. Let's take this Sower. I don't know if Sower is even good enough anymore. I don't even know, man. I have no idea what's going on in the Vintage Cube these days. Is Talisman good for the white half? Maybe. I mean, it might be a good Skull Clamp deck, but we have no other creatures other than one Snapcaster. So we're not there yet. Oh, Stuart, man, you missed, you missed everything. I'm going to take Sower. Oh, look, Inferno Titan. Oh, might be a good... Here's an Endural, Andural, Flame of the West. That's a card I want to take and play. I would take Lingering Souls, but we don't have black. If we took that Talisman, I could see taking it. This is white and black. I like a men mist Monastery Mentor. Mist, must, 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 must. We'll take Monastery Mentor. 
Ooh, El ooh, four man Elspeth. All right, all right. I'm still in tears over what just happened, dude. You and me both. You and me both. Oh my god, I should have screen captured it. Someone should clip it. Like, clip it from the part where they're like, they say the comments, and then they literally kill me on my turn when they could have killed me on their turn. Oh, the six man. I knew this was going. I knew it was. I knew she was coming back. I like the way this deck looks already. I don't know if it's good, but I like it. This guy could let us draw a card and gain some life. He's not terrible. Hero of Bladehold and a Silent Clearing. I think Hero of Bladehold just is a, a beater. Plus, if we get any sort of like two mana talisman or something to play it on turn three, it's just really good. There's got to be someone who can who can clip it, right? Like, there's we can't just rely on Affinity all the time. Also, I think Affinity is on vacation. Oh, we got a big M's. Big, big Miracles. I do like this as a three drop, and I also like it as a six drop. Um, I think that's the pick, even. The Might Stone seems bad. I agree with you. No, I, I agree with you. Um... I actually determined this when I played it in green. And the worst part is that like you can only use the colorless mana to, to cast non artifact spells or it can't be used to cast non artifact spells rather. So like it's extremely narrow in what you can use it for. So it's like only good in the artifact decks. I, I picked it up in hopes that we can get it to, um, to meld with the three mana Urza. I, I think we're going to have to take Treachery over, Col over Colonnade here. I think one of those has a higher chance of coming back, and I don't think it's the Treachery. We can have Remand and Reprieve. There's also a Channel in here, which I would have loved. There's also a Dream Halls. I mean, we're not green in any way, shape, or form. Come on, Mark. Get it together. I could see taking Talisman here, even. I think I just want the Remand. Yeah, Treachery just killed us pretty easily. So, you know, same thing. Same, same. I feel like the only card in here that I would even consider is Phantasmal Image. Which is pretty decent. I do like Cathar Commando. I think it's fine, but I think Image has a, a much higher ceiling. Katie's like, I just learned you can walk instead of, you can run instead of walk in this game I've been playing. Oh, goodness gracious. Does anyone have frustrating friends where you ask them a question and they just like the pose? <laughs> uh, oh, we can be the Cryptic Command deck now. Oh, God, I love Time Warp too, though. I mean, we got Snapcaster. I kind of want to be the Cryptic Command guy. Besides, we're just going to open Time Walk in the third pack anyway, so it's going to be... It's going to be fine. I 
There's a Teferi. There's a Chrome Host Seed Shark as well. I kind of feel like that's really good in our deck. Like, we have so many expensive cards. We have Elspeth, we have Fractured, we have Treachery. I kind of want a cheaper card, and I, I, I like Suspicious Stove, but I kind of want to try Chrome Host Seed Shark here. It's also a great card to put a sword on as well, so. <gasps> oh yeah, we're live let's live the dream. Let's live the dream. Pretty, 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 pretty good. I mean, it also makes our artifacts, instants, and sorceries cost one less, which is not nothing. How much does it cost to meld seven? That's fine. Uh, let's take the Misty here. Oh, Thieving Skydiver is really good, though. Fudge. five dollars if you meld it god damn i think we want to i think we want misty over this guy this is only pack two and our deck is looking very solid i just want to make sure we can cast our cards i don't think the colonnade is coming back i think it might be too late actually i think it might be the next pack i'll take wins i think wins is completely playable oh what up peyton Flash is in this, and if you guys watched my YouTube video that I went up this morning about the 108 changes to the cube that were made, I go over all of those. So check that out. Subscribe on YouTube. The friggin' Colonnade came back, which is amazing. You have such a great personality. It's an honor watching you drop. P.S. I've been standing behind you with a lethal weapon for three minutes. <gasps> This is a late channel, and it kind of makes me really sad. I'm going to take it because no one else deserves it. I bought it because no one else deserved it. There was 180 changes to the cube from the last time to this time, yeah. It's it's a lot. Cathar Commando, also a great sideboard card. Karakong, <laughs> thank you for the bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really appreciate it, even though the meme itself is painful. Oh, Elspeth Conquers Death is fantastic. Ten of them were signets for talismans, which I approve of. I think that's a great change. Oh, Magma Opus, huh? Okay. Oh, Scavenging News, huh? Okay. <laughs> he called it again! He called it again! Fucking amazing. Not even close. Absolutely incredible. Nice. Shut up and take my money. Oh, Peyton donated a dollar. Hey, Peyton here. It's an honor to watch you play. I'm... Oh, and a Mox Pearl? Oh, we're living the dream. Oh, man, this deck's looking solid. What can we get out of here? Polluted Delta would be nice if we can get a, a land to, to search for it. You can't keep getting away with it! <laughs> I don't know play against you, not catch these hands. <laughs> I think Caracas is actually really, really solid here. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to take Caracas. That's a banger this deck is looking satisfying mox pearl and time walk in this pack chef's kiss we got the might stone and urza Wow, I'm such a lucky boy. It's such an honor to play against you. You're a great personality. I'm going to go home now. I don't know why. 
this they put this in over metal worker and that kind of blows my mind Remember, opponent draws their second card you draw a card this guy might just be better than actually is esper sentinel just really good I also think it might be Sentinel. I would love another. Oh, wow. Splinter Twin and a Deceiver Exarch in the same pack. I would just love one more. Um, one more land that helps us. Ha, that, that makes our Misty Rain for us actually good. Um, I think it's Wandering Emperor here. Actually, I like Wall of Omens a lot. It helps us draw. Damn is a wrath effect. I feel like we're playing a lot of creatures. Maybe we're not. I don't know. Like we have Hero Blade Hold, we have a bunch of planeswalkers, Monastery Mentor. I'm gonna take the damn. I think I do think it's nice having that. Oh, Sea Chrome Coast. I really want this Brazen Borrower, but I think Sea Chrome Coast is more important here. Especially with like double, 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 triple. Man, I was really hoping for for a tundra or a hollowed fountain. I do like Lauren of the Third Path. I think it's very, very good. I also like Umazawa's Jitte. I think I want another creature that's cheap and that has a good effect. Ooh, a forest in a plains. And by that, I mean an island in a plains. But, I mean, this is a fantastic pickup for us, especially with Misty Rainforest. There's a Golos. For Super Fritz. For Little Fritzy. Oh, that's a boy, Little Fritzy. This guy's also just fine, right? 3-1 for 2. Prism is fine. On 2, we get to go to 5. Eh, it's actually not bad. Guardian Scale Lord, are you a thing? Probably. That doesn't do what we want it to do. Let's just take this Tendrils. No one, no one else can have it. I'll take Crystalline Guardian. Crystalline Jump. Oh, all Omens came back. Fantastic. Adeline came back. That's actually also pretty good. Okay. Lands are looking decent. Aetherflux Reservoir. You got it. You got it. I do remember playing Legacy, and it was a Golos format. Those were the days. Those were the days. Yeah, this seems good. I like having Reprieve, Miscalc, and Remand, and Time Walk for Snapcaster. We do need to make a couple cuts. I definitely do not want to cut Anduril. Anduril is actually insane. Are you guys... Are, wow, that's so wild that you guys would cut this. Plus three, plus one. And whenever it attacks, you get two one one flyers. Like, uh, that's insane. It makes its own creatures to equip. Plus, we have so many tiny creatures that we can equip to get there. Like, Elspeth, Hero of Bladehold, Adeline, Monastery Mentor, <clears throat> Chromo Seed Shark. This guy is a 3-3. Three, three. Like... There's so many good creatures. And I think the quest is one. It's two. Okay, so it's just basically... It's like a sword. It's sword of lord and rings. But we do ever need two cuts. This is 12 creatures, but we also have Elspeth Knight Errant, Elspeth Sun's Champion. Both of those are creatures. We have Treachery and Fractured Identity which can both be creatures. So that's closer to 16. I mean, I would rather put Wall of Omens than Andoral. I think Shark is utterly insane. What? I would sooner cut Monastery Mentor than Shark. This is a 2-4, this is a 2-2. Two -two. This can make bigger creatures than 1-1s. One -one
sure when it's top deck versus top deck, but like I I can see cutting cutting sower. Um I think that's probably fine. Yeah, I mean I mean there's lots of cards that are not gonna be great in a top deck war. Like Esper Sentinel's not great, like that, by that logic, like you just shouldn't play swords, and I don't think that's true. Uh, five and six. Is that correct? Yeah, we also have. Well, we have Caracas and we have Mox Pearl. That doesn't seem correct. So this is what five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sources of white, and this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven, ten. I think that's probably fine. And we got a zero zero sugar Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream from my boy Shua Gardner. That is not a good soda. Oh my God, you're out of your mind. Too sweet. Dr. Pepper, zero sugar, Star Wars and cream. Established in 1885. Beautiful. I would rather have Sentinel than Giver. I don't care if my creatures die, but being able to like prevent them from playing on curve or drawing extra cards when they do. Cause I think we have a lot of creatures, but they're not a lot of creatures that I actually care about. Have you had the nitro Pepsi? It's like opening the f a fresh flat soda. Very weird. No, that's wild. Wait, have I? Kerwit, did you, did we try Nitro Pepsi or did you just try it by yourself? I think you might've tried it by yourself. I wonder how long it's going to take to fire this. Wow, Shua Garner just doesn't like, doesn't like drinks, I guess. Okay. Actually, this is a turn one Esper Sentinel and we still have another land. This is a keeper. I'm the one that took you to swig the first. <laughs> I think that might've been the only time as well. There's both peanuts and chocolate covered peanuts in this trail mix. <laughs> oh no, they're going to pay for it. That's sad. Still kind of neuters a turn one. Is this Baron? Is this the Baron von Vaderham? Wow. Show chat, show game log. Unless this is a different Baron Von Vaderham. Did you not even know? Okay, that's pretty hilarious if they didn't realize it. Man, look at them playing around our Esper Sentinel. This is just rude. Come on, land drop. Von Vaderham has a common surname. <laughs> yeah, that's what they tell me. Hmm. You know what? I would rather it have been a land, but this is not the worst we could do.
I did turn off the stream after your first draft. Well, that's just rude. We're definitely going to draw a card now, right? No. They're going to hit a land, aren't they? They did. Wonderful. Oh, it does say cast, though, so you can't actually play lands off of Robber. Wonderful. Do we just cycle this? I feel like we just cycle this. Okay. Everybody's playing hard. Another land? <laughs> okay. Is this a joke? Is this a serious fucking joke? Like, they're just taking three lands? They take land, I draw spell, I cycle, I draw spell, they take land, I draw spell, they take land? Like, seriously? How is that real? You got me. Let me guess. Spell? A land. Fantastic. Nah, it doesn't seem worth it, I'll be honest with you. I'm just trading it. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's just go to the next game. Wonderful. I guess not having lands is actually pretty bad, right? I don't think wall does anything that any of our other creatures that we couldn't cast don't do. It seems like we want wall because they had a bunch of creatures, a bunch of small creatures, but we would also have that if we just were able to cast our spells. And actually, knowing they have Planeswalkers, I'd much rather have aggressive creatures than a wall. 
That's a hand. All right. Theoretically. It's theoretically a hand. We'll see what it, what it turns into. Okay. Every game with this guy, huh? Fascinating. We know they have remand. Let's see if they remand us. We get to draw a card if they do. They do have robber, so I'm not actually going to attack here. Hmm. Game is off the screen. Really good. Really way to go, me. Sorry about that, guys. We played Esper Sentinel into Adelaide, and they did nothing, so... Yeah, we get to pass with Reprieve up. Man, you can only have so much trail mix. Then it just starts getting really strong. All I can see now is the email from your grandma. Oh, no. Slightly evil toaster. <laughs> Appreciate it. I don't know how long I would have gone if I didn't. Uh, really? What if you don't do that instead? That's rude. Let's get this Spara's headquarters. Sparrow's headquarters. <laughs> Best, it's my favorite pizza place in New York. <laughs> oh, man. Solid office references. Um, so what is this? This is going to cost six, right? One, two, three, four, five. Darn it, we don't have it. Do we exile this instead, though? I guess we don't, because now it's their turn. I'll be honest, I'm almost tempted to exile our own our own Adeline. It taps them out this turn and it puts them at three next turn. Cause now they get a whole nother turn. They get they get to just untap their lands. I'm very tempted to exile our own creature here. And then we still have treachery for whatever they play. This actually feels correct. I don't love it. Ooh, that's interesting. Now we have so many answers to things. Wow, we're so we're so good. And Dural here would have been insane. I think it would have won the game, right? I'm tempted to get rid of their coalition relic. To be quite honest, it doesn't seem great though.
<laughs> Fascinating. That's pretty good. I guess it's outlived its usefulness when we all have this much mana. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sticks? Okay. Yeah, when they were at seven and we have three power on board, the thing we were trying to do is avoid them untapping and getting a whole extra turn afterwards. Like if they when they steal our 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 three our I guess for them it would have been a one four, but it's a three four for us. And like when they steal it and then they get treachery, they just get to untap all their land. So basically, time walk. <clears throat> That's interesting, and we're gonna fractured identity that or attempt to. Mm, yeah, okay. That might be the game. Thunder my hell kite. <laughs> Give it to me. I do think Kadar, the Kadar Commando is going to be great here. This gets rid of Treachery, gets rid of Thundermaw. I think Elspeth Conquering Death is really, really good. Um, They do have some larger things that we'd like to get rid of. You're a three drop. Stop pretending like you're... Our deck actually has a pretty low curve. Let's see if we can get this guy three games in a row. Um, Lauren would also be really good there too because they just they always have their chromatic lantern or their uh coalition relic rather. <sighs> I don't want to cut anything. What do I do then? I just submit it. <laughs> uh, nope, that's not going to do it. Mulliganos. Wow, another one lander, huh? Super cool. Guess we're going to five. All right, sounds good. Um, get rid of this and probably a planes, I guess. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Well. Good times. Great oldies. How many games will be decided by land screw? So far we're at one going on two. So let's see. Mox? No, you're just going to... Wonderful. In before Mountain Splinter Twin, right? Mm, boy. Ready? Well.
Sower of Temptation. That is a good one. So we play Monastery Mentor, they sower it. We have no recourse for that. Good lord. I almost want this to resolve because if we bounce it and then we play like Anduril, they can just kill the Anduril then. So, like, having this guy on the board is not great, but better than just giving it back to them. Uh, guess we just pass here. Like, we could play Time Walk and do nothing. Like, we just have nothing to, to build into. Like, I'd rather play, like, Mentor into Time Walk into Andoral Equip. Which we need another land for. Do we think they're missing a red mana? I would also love to reprieve something here. Well, we have to worry about that less now. Fascinating. I mean, I feel like we have to play something. They're going to steal this. Then they're going to attack for one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to six. And then we're probably just dead at some point. I think we have to time walk here, even though I wish I had one more land on turn five. And the hopes is we hit a land so we can play Mentor and keep up Reprieve. Any one land would have been great. We could play three, we could play any one of three spells. Yep, that's what we wanted to do. So if we can get one turn <clears throat> to counter their sower, that's all we want. Red. Mizium Mortars. We're still going to approve that, thinking you don't have a another red source, but... They do have another red source. Because of course they do. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh boy. <laughs> just why well, I, I feel like you should have just led with that. I don't know, that's weird. frustrating I 
Like the creatures coming into play tapped is pretty brutal. I think that means we just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, we just lose if we do that, so. Oh, and the creature just comes into play attacking. Everything comes into play attacking, apparently, so. So I don't want to attack with this and then have another attacking creature because then they just block with their 2-2. Two -two. They have three cards to our one land. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over. cool I, I literally forgot that i gave them that back because of reprieve so that's fun i guess i should have just remembered that well game one we couldn't hit a second land or a third land or whatever land we were missing and game three we had to mold five so i would say both sides played hard Yeah, I mean, when you're playing against me, it's free wins. You know, that's why my that's why my my avatar is easy prey because you know you're just gonna get the not you, but anyone who plays against me is just gonna get either better draws or not mana screwed. So that's just how it goes. I I accept it and acknowledge it, but you know. Lord Warbear, two lords in a row is what we're playing against here. Oh no, one Baron and one Lord. <laughs> what is that from? You have, why is your shirt so tight? What is that from, dude? When? What? Oh, God. I remember when he wears the woman's suit. Oh, I think Pestermite's fine to include if you're not, even if you don't have the, the combo. I think it's just a fine gentleman. Do you think we'll hit a third land this game? Or no? Cool. <laughs> cool. I guess technically the Mox Pearl is kind of a land, right? Oh no, I dropped a peanut. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's play this gentleman. I have to make sure it was a peanut and not an M&M. I also have no idea where it went though, so. Oh shoot, it was an M&M and I found it. It's an orange M&M. Okay, we got it. <laughs> this is how you get ants. 
No, I don't. That's why I got it. It's European. It's a European cut. Interesting. This is my Grixis mana base, and this is my white green talisman. <laughs> Good old Chromie. I'm tempted to just copy this guy. I don't know if that's very good, though. Do I want to attack here? I don't know. They didn't attack, which makes me think they don't have like a burn or else they probably would have just benefited from an attack. I don't think they have it. Yeah, okay. Enlightened Tutor. What is going on? Another talisman. Okay. What in the earth is going on? Well, I don't really want to treachery this guy, but I do like a 5-5. Five five. I guess we can just attack here. I don't know if we need to treachery this guy. I kind of just want to move the game forward. Uh, Kroll Ultimatum when they have a Talisman of Unity and only one black source is very, very unlikely. Currently they need two more black and an additional red or blue. Which is very specific. So now they're going to go get the Cruel Ultimatum. They're going to get Mizzix Mastery. They're going to discard Cruel and then cast it. They're playing 4D chess and we just don't know. We just don't know it. Seething Song. Okie dokie. In my face, I guess. What could what could this be? Seething songs. Would love to have mis miscalculation, reprieve, remand, or cryptic command in hand right now, but seven mana. This is the last card in their hand. Two blue is gone. Is it just Mind's Desire for two? <laughs> I'm so confused. Dig through time. 
So you have no cards in hand. Okay. I'm so confused still. All that set up just for a dig through time? Do you leave food in it all the time or are they going in there and it's empty? What can I do to stop my dogs going at a food bowl? It's up and away from everything. Oh yeah, just, yeah, I mean like, oh, do I stop ants going into the dog's food bowl? Yeah, don't leave food in it. That's the thing. A lot of people do that. A lot of people leave food in the bowl just all day. <clears throat> That's what we used to do as well. Uh, we being me personally. I should have paid one more for this. Now I just now we just feed them like twice a day and they just get a set amount of food. Okay. Was the top card of your deck something you need? Or you can put a bit of peppermint all around the area of food. That will help keep ants away. And it'll also help keep their breath fresh. Oh, look, we're sitting here and twiddle. Yeah, right. That's what, this is what I mean. Like, you're complaining about bribery, but at least bribery would have gotten a creature out and then we could move on with the game. And then I have treachery or phantasmal image for whatever they bribery. I think people overestimate bribery's, like, power level compared to the answers that are available in the cube. Like, also another thing is they if they bribery something and you oblivion ring it, and then you kill the oblivion ring, you get the creature back. Like, there's so many ways it can backfire on you. They have no cards in hand. We're just going to steal this and try to finish things off here. But there's nothing we can do with the mana, right? So there's no reason to, like... Yeah, I'll take two. Okay. I believe you. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. Okay. I believe you. I almost wonder if Guardian Scale Lord should be in here. We have a lot of things that cost X or less. I don't know if it's better than any of these five drops, though. If you mix some salt and olive oil, you can rub it on your dogs and it'll make them greasier and saltier. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I guess you could in fact do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so funny, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Make them greasier and salty. Oh, why? I just don't understand, like, why that would even... Why? Why? Are... I don't know. I don't get anything anymore. Oh, God. That was a good one, man. That's quality. That's a quality thing that you did with the thing. Come on, I hit I hit the I hit the button. Let's go. You know, the games might not always go the way we want, but at least we got some laughs. Cheers to that. And there's this cute jellyfish that Katie made with its little tentacles. 
unfortunately, I think she might have actually six six is good. It's in between four and eight. I wasn't sure if there was so cute. It's fucking adorable, man. Look at this little guy. It's just so cute. Love it. Beautiful. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that hot gentleman. Could have waited till next turn to play him and then play Mox afterwards. That's for babies. Um, let's just play this here. Gonna make a gentleman. Gonna pump our monkey man. Baby mox do 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 do. You gonna counter this? No. All right. I guess we're just hoping they don't storm out on us next turn. I think we just make a 1-1 one, one here. Here we go. Aether Flux Reservoir. Mox Opal. Oh God. It's all happening. I mean, if we get to untap, we get to march. Okay. So you have one mana floating. You have no mana floating. Okay. Fine. Okay, that was nowhere near as bad as it could have been. I paid three. And the reason was so that I could prevent them from drawing a card. I actually don't know if we care about Reservoir anymore because it's just not going to do anything in the future. It's going to be very hard for them to rebuild their hand. Oh, that's that's pretty interesting. Um, do we just play that guy? Probably.
I guess they have top. Can they go infinite with top? I don't think so. They're in top, they're basically in top deck moment. I guess they can top and do things. I don't know, if we get rid of this, are we just? Well, we're just going to play these for now. By play, I mean attack. What up, Blue Max? I kind of just do want to keep this up. Yeah, let's see what happens, I guess. We're going to do something one way or the other. I just want to... I, I want the information of seeing what they might do. If the last card is Tinker, though, that's going to be pretty epic. But I want them to Tinker with the knowledge that they have this in play, because then we can get rid of it. Okay, we're just going to get rid of it. Cast one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're paying costs. They're topping, sure. I decline to give you extra cards. All right, well, we're at a point where we have no real reason not to just windmill slam our six mana guy. I'll choose this guy. We'll give him Vigilance. Elspeth is now at <clears throat> ultimate range. Hope they don't steal it and activate it. They're gonna have they're gonna have Zealous Conscripts watch. Also, for everyone who's new here, thank you for watching and joining, and be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch. They're great ways to support the channel. If you got Amazon Prime, you get that free Twitch sub. Are you not on Arena? What is that? This is not a, this is not Magic Arena, if that's what you mean. And also, check out HelloFresh. They're one of the sponsors of the stream until about September. 
and you get 50% off your first box, which is a great deal. You also get free shipping. So you can probably get away with like 20 bucks for a box and I get a pretty significant kickback that's way higher than what you're going to actually spend. And you can also cancel at any time. So if you guys wanted to support the channel and if you guys were going to do it anyway, going through HelloFresh to get the discount and to, to get me the sweet kickback is, is a much better way to do it. So definitely be sure to check them out. You can find the link down in the Twitch description, in the YouTube description, in the chat, pretty much everywhere where links are found. Nothing we want to do here, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have no incentive to keep things up here. So gather, I'm not sure I did not see it, but either way, it does say you are sub, so I do appreciate it. Really, really appreciate the support, my dude. Do we just get the emblem? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, and twelve. Or one. Is there anything we could have done to deal one more point? I don't think so. We maximized all the damage that turn, so this is our last turn, presumably. Unless they, like, Mizium orders us. But I guess we can bounce our Adelaide in response and still have that, but that doesn't attack. Here we go. Okay. Tendrils for three. Okay. Okay. And that's the end. Okay. Fascinating. All right. Well, Shut up and take my money. Stuart Alm, be a watch e -ig <laughs> Okay, okay, a little deep cut there. So, so Stuart keeps sending me this meme. He was playing the Oregon Trail, right? And one of the characters' names was this. And so now he constantly keeps making jokes about this. It's a very complex name. So, you know. And I, I think what he just did there was uh, try to 
really ate our pronunciation of the name. You know, so you don't get it wrong. <sighs> Amazing. Do you think this round's ever going to fire? Am I missing something? It's the Vintage Cube, man. It's the most popular time of the year. Just fire already. I don't think it's ever going to fire. Okay, it finally fired, guys. Oh, this is a hand. I'm going to keep it. It's got lands and it's got a couple spells and one's a really good one and one's a really cheap one. So, you know. We have a ton of two and three drops in our deck, so that's all you can ask for. Thoughtsies. No thoughtsies? No thoughtsies. Okay. That is a five drop. And we only have like 14, two, and three drops. So only only like 30% of our deck. I understand why we draw five drop when we only have two others in the deck. It's all making sense. I mean, it makes sense. It's statistically likely. Just kidding. You think they're getting another land? Because they had to mulligan to six and they just don't have a second land. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Man, look at us benefiting from this basic land tech. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to go with island cuz if we draw a cryptic command, we want to be able to play it next turn. We cannot do that if we play to planes this turn. Dark Depths. Okay, Long Run of the Third Path doesn't kill anything here. It might still be worth playing. Does this Exile a Merit Lage for zero? That's pretty good. What if we go Phantasmal Image or Merit Lage and then March of the Otherworldly Light it? That sounds good. I kind of just want to play Lauren here. I don't really want to wait until they have something. Uh, done. I'd rather just have a 2-1 that attacks each turn and maybe can draw some cards. And if we draw Andoral next turn, that's pretty cool too. Play the swamp. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Love it. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's a great... It's a great feeling when your opponent uses their turn to take one ice counter off of their dark depths. Depths. Instant play this guy. We can also Phantasmal Image this guy again. We'll be drawing cards forever. Oh, what up, Dos Blevins? Michael is at work. That's where he... Oh, we just win the game. Okay. Um, assuming they're playing Dark Dep Depths. Dark Depths. Might want a Winds of Command in here. I mean, they're, they're presumably going to do it at the end of the turn, though. So I don't know how good that is. I think we just submit like this. We haven't seen enough. Like they, we saw duress and dark depths and vampiric tutor. Frost Titan, check it and see. He's so frosty. Yeah, I'm a bigger MTGO fan than MTG Arena fan for sure. Oh yeah, one lander. This is how we do it. Three planes. Sounds good. I'll ship this lady. All right, two two blue sources, and we can snapcast her into into miscalc. That'll be that'll be a play. Oh. That's even better. Snap into time walk. Let's do that. Just need blue mana, that's all. Oh yeah, I had a copy of Werewolf long before Moon Knight went up, but then it went down again after the show was over, so... Oh yeah, triple blue. Fantastic. Beautiful. Give me all the blue cards. I love it. I might just cycle this miscalc here. I think hitting a blue source here is a little bit more important than having a miscalc one day. Okay. Okay. Let's go blue into Time Walk, into Snapcaster Time Walk, into Fracture Identity, whatever this is. Fascinating. Well, I might as well cycle this guy. <laughs> Island. Blue source. Uh, come on. Yeah! All right. That's fine. You can get your Gristle Brand. If we hit one more blue source, we're actually in good shape to go Time Walk. Snap, Time Walk, Fractured Identity. Unless they duress us here. That would be bad. It was bad. Having a good time. Having a good time. Not great, Bob. Good for you. You picked the right one. 
I am dead inside. Mox can't even save us here. I guess we just play Mentor here. I mean, I guess next turn Mox can save us because then we get Fractured Identity, but who knows what they're going to hit with their, you know, plus eight cards this turn. Maybe they draw 14. Who knows? Yeah. The rest hitting our time walk. Good times. So any blue source gets a Snapcaster in the time walk. Mox or blue source is all very good. What are you getting now? What is this? What is this? Oh, dear Jesus. Everything is terrible. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. Do they draw six more? Do they draw seven more when they're at six cards? Yep, guess so. <clears throat> Storm count is one, though, so that's good to know. You got it. A little putrid boy. Blue Source or Mox? There's a ton of them in the deck, but not Colonnade and not Sea Chrome Coast. We specifically need, and not Sparrows, <laughs> specifically need an Island or a Mox. Odds are good, but not great. <sighs> Caracas is close, but no cigar. We get rid of this guy, but then they have six, eight. Then they can just discard it and reanimate it again. Does that matter, though? I don't even know if that matters. We go to three. Can they kill us? Probably. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's our play. Yep. How close are we to Cryptic Command right now? Oh, never? Never happening? Got it. Okay. Play your Vampire Hex Mage. Fascinating. In response, I should have put Gristlebrand up in their hand. Because now they can just draw whatever card they're getting. That's That was bad. I mean, if it is Vampire X Mage, though, I don't really know if I care that much. What's it gonna be? 
Are you gonna do a thing on your turn? You got six cards left in your deck. Can I just deck them? Just deck them. Sure. Oh my god, are you going to shallow grave it? Should I have waited until you declared it as an attacker? No. Okay. Fascinating. I guess we'll take eight and go to three. I don't think there's anything the black white deck, black scrubland deck can do against to just deal us an extra three points here. I'm gonna reanimate. Now you're at four. You're a recurring nightmare. Yeah, okay. Get rid of your imp for that gristle brand again. Get rid of that stinkweed pimp. Putrid pimp. Not stinkweed imp, it's a, it's a putrid imp. Fascinating. You can't draw more cards. This is actually, doesn't feel bad for us. I don't know. Treachery would be, no, we need another blue for that. Another blue would be good for Snapcaster because then we can time walk and get a Snappy on board. <laughs> That's not gonna do it. <laughs> Okie dokie. They have seven cards in hand. If they just kill the Gristle Brand after we steal it, though, we die, right? That's not good. And we just don't have a second blue source. So that's cool. I guess this is just what we have to do, right? Like, they knew we had this from, like, the get-go. Why doesn't have haste? Think about good game. GG. Yeah, here it goes. Something's gonna happen. Do they have a creature in their graveyard? No. Yep. Cool. Great. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Definitely bringing in Winds of Abandon here. I'm taking out the Might and Weak Stone. I just don't feel like we're in a position where we're going to be able to, like, do it, do the thing. I hate to say it, man, but it's true. Packrat, have a good afternoon, buddy. Cathar Commando also seems better than some other things because we can just destroy, like, a Necromancy or a um, Recurring Nightmare. I guess we can take out Urza if we took out the other thing. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand is actually reasonable, I guess. Let's see how let's see how busted their opening is. They went to 6. Went to 5. Went to four. They're looking for are they looking for the perfect hand. Is this game just over before it before it begins? Do you go to three?
Okay. Oh, they have Wasteland. We probably shouldn't have led with that. Mm, that's going to be brutal when they actually kill our, our one blue source this game. Okay, they didn't. They're going to duress us, though. Okie dokie. Three games, three duresses. I have tons of cards I'd like to play every game, but never get them. Fascinating. Like any of our two drops, like eight two drops in the deck. Literally can't get a two drop in any game that we can that we can play. So I bet they mulligan into like bizarre swamp duress gristle brand or something, and now we're just gonna lose to their Maldifor. There's a massacre worm. And they're going to reanimate it. They're going to Imperial Seal to get the... So we're probably going to play one of these guys instead because they don't die to Massacre Arm immediately. Well, the problem with Mulling to Four is that like you're still likely to get a Duress. Like, because Mulling to Four doesn't, in and of itself, does not decrease your odds of getting the card in hand. Because you still get to draw seven and put three back. So you can, like... I mean, if you, if you Mull to Four, you actually look at four different seven-card hands, you know? I think you can be salty when your opponent mulls to four and still wins. I think that's actually even more um, justifiable to be salty. They haven't won yet. Well, yeah, but they just Imperial Sealed for whatever card they need. And they already have bizarre in play so literally all they need is a reanimate spell and I get two cards in hand I don't know one of them has to be a, a reanimate spell for massacre room yep it's reanimate <laughs> reanimate which is actually fantastic against both of these creatures that we have it kills the one ones and we take two kills the one ones and we take two so but they have one card in hand, so I don't know. Is that good enough? They're at 12. I don't know. I just, I, I know that like, oh, really? This is fascinating. Grisselbrand, Dismember, Dark Confidant in the graveyard. Okay, so you're just in top deck mode now? Well, that's pretty interesting. Definitely playing that. And definitely attacking. Because you're at 12. Okay, I think we m might be in good shape. But, like, any top deck, like a Necromancy... Well, no, they only have one land that they can... Yeah, I mean, them having one... One land that they can tap for actual mana here is pretty, pretty bad. Because, like, even in Exhum, they can't just can't cast it. They just need another land and an Exhum. <clears throat> so they might just be all in on this Massacre Worm. Which could be fine for us. Okay, sure. I mean, that's fine. Archon of Cruelty. I mean, this is these are good choices because they prevent you from drawing. Like, you're not going to draw an Archon of Cruelty now. I also do not think they attack because then they die. What? Are they, they're just dead now. What? I'm very confused. You have no cards? Okay, so that's the end? What? If my math is correct, Battlecry always goes on first. This is Xaxes? I'm very confused. I don't understand that attack, but all right, I'll take it. I'm not going to look a gift, a gift hee-haw horse mouth in the face. That's the saying, right? Nailed it. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch, on YouTube, and check out HelloFresh. It's a great way to support the channel. You get a 50% off your first box along with free shipping. And the kickback they give me is substantially 
uh, disproportionate to the amount you could spend. Um, so it's definitely worth it. Like if you guys wanted to donate five subs or 10 subs, it's literally better for you to spend that money on HelloFresh and the kickback I get will be higher than whatever I get from Twitch. So definitely check HelloFresh out. It's a great way to support the channel. They have great food. We've, we've loved them every time we got them and you can cancel anytime. So there's really no commitment, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hope you check them out.